Hey, hello again. The Set Man Twin Able here. It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd uh, get get back into it again. I've got a couple of things that might be of interest to some people. Watch my videos. Um, so here we go. This one I've got. I just recently bought these two books here by uh, David Diaz. David Diaz about uh, tracking and anti-tracking, and uh, they're quite interesting. Uh, you might, uh, if you've watched a few of my videos, I did a tracking course some years ago and um, they didn't recommend a particular book on the course but I had this one, The SAS Guide to Tracking by Bob Cars. Great book, I think I did a review on it. A lot of detail, a lot of information and um, really good. I still look at it from time to time. Uh, just read uh, chapters now and then just to refresh my memory because I um, haven't done much bushwalking just recently but even when I'm walking around the streets looking on the footpath or something I notice some sort of um, something there and I wonder how long it might be there I see a footprint, how long it might be there, something like that and uh, so uh, recently I was watching a video just a few weeks ago and I can't remember the name of the video but in the comments they recommended someone recommended uh, this book and I thought it might be worth uh, just interesting to read, so I ordered it online. In Australia I even had Amazon Australia had it. So it only got here within sort of two days or something. It's great. Uh, this is the first one he wrote. He's got a, he's got a very good... Um, uh, uh, he's got a lot of experience. He's trained different places around the world. A very, very interesting life this guy's had. And um, I'm about uh, sort of halfway through this one, but I've skim read a little bit towards the back as well. I'm just interested in what he has to say. And um, I'll just show you this one here. Tracking humans in, in particular. Where uh, the, the Bob cars uh, covers all sorts of tracking. So uh, like you know animal footprints. That sort of thing as well as humans and different things. And this one is more particularly like missing persons, insurgents, gorillas, fugitives. That's more the focus of the book. But it's, it covers the same information as this one of course because it's tracking but just written in a little bit different format and um, it's good that I've got a background a little bit of a background in the tracking information so I can read this one so it came out uh, where's the date it came out just a, it's fairly recent uh, Auroch Reserve uh, up, updated to 2013 so it's reasonably recent and uh, just go to the index here. Covers a, a, a short history of tracking, uh, site, audio, scent tracking, pursuiting, top signs. So you've got ground sign is your footprints, middle sign uh, up to sort of head height sort of thing, and top signs uh, measuring how to, how to do things. Um, human excrement. This was interesting. It's got a like how to. It explains laying out a, um, a test site, you could do it in your backyard or somewhere and just put some things there and compare how long does it take a leaf to start turning brown, how long does, um, you know, different things and compare like the summer and winter one in your backyard to just to learn um, how, how things deteriorate in the sun, like decomposition, even one on bodies, decomposition, mummification, skeletonization a little bit sort of weird to read but it's very interesting and some other things like here how to blood trail movement um, tracker teams different things very interesting and then he's got a whole lot of reports at the back the different reports you do if you're reporting back to you know you're working with a military group or a police group or something like that so you got something about IED reports Medivac report, a salute report is size, strength, activity, location, uniform, time, equipment. So if you're tracking some sort of uh, terrorist group or something in the bush, you report that type of information back. Um, situation report, location, strength, that sort of thing. Um, other, other information here, lots of information, different reports, day two tracking. Here, like how to sort of measure a footprint size and how you could do it. Yeah, so very interesting. Uh, also, in this book, he goes through a scenario of a, of a tracking thing. I'll just bring it to a slightly different coloured page here. 
and predator to the chase. He calls the, the person you're tracking the chase and this is a scenario in uh, Korea, North Korea. There's some North Korean people come over the border and we're going to do something and they how they sort of went about doing it. So it's part of the story there. Then you read a bit more of the chapter and then you come on to the in the, meet the next part of the scenario, the pursuit day one. They're, how they're doing it but also just a tracker team but they had a supporter uh, like a cover team traveling nearby and then they had um, other intelligence reports and they're interacting with the local villagers that sort of thing so quite an interesting story that sort of interleaves through at least the first half of the book and this one here anti-tracking I've just started getting into there that's my bookmark just first few pages getting into and this was uh, uh, 2017 came out there the camera's focusing and uh, contents how to uh, mentions early early history of anti-tracking and war and that sort of thing uh, anti-tracking or the other terms they use um, anti-tracking tricking that sort of thing so I'm just getting into this one great books um, if you're interested in some sort of tracking things for sure I'd, uh, I'd definitely re recommend this one these two here so I've been reading so far are great books there's a few more that um, you see on Amazon they're very very popular as well and maybe eventually I'll get them just to uh, read them so here we go the tracking and anti-tracking by David Diaz uh, thanks for watching my video remember like subscribe and uh, especially in these crazy times we live just absolutely crazy what's happening in the world. Uh, stay positive, endure to the end. Bye bye for now.